Okay, so we wanna make a green screen and then we wanna change it to blue or to red or to whatever color we want, right? Okay, very simple. I'll walk you through the steps right now. Okay, so I'm gonna assume that you already have Half-Life Advanced Effects installed. If you do not, I have a tutorial that shows you how to do that. Link down below in the description. First things first, let's make a green screen, okay? So that's gonna be Merv Streams Add Mat Entity and then we'll call this entity, okay? Now, to make sure that this was created properly, we'll type in Merv Streams Print, and it looks like we have a stream called Entity, okay? Now let's preview it. Merv Streams Preview Entity. Okay, cool, we have a green screen, awesome. But it's the wrong color. We don't want it to be green, we want it to be blue, or red, or something else, so, Let's do that now, let's change it. Okay, first things first, we have to make a replacement profile that actually encapsulates all of the settings that we want to then apply to the properties of a stream. Super confusing when it's described like that, but I'll show you how this works, okay? All right, so it's gonna be Merv Streams, Actions, Add, Replace, and then Name, okay? And we'll just call this blue, all right? So your name can be here, but I'm gonna name it blue, all right? Okay, then it's gonna be quotations, AFX slash white, quotations, space, then quotations, and then it's gonna be override. And now this is important, okay? The next word is gonna be color, but it has to be capital C, okay? If it's lowercase c, this command's actually not gonna work, all right? So it's very finicky about the capitalization, okay? And then it's equals, and then, now the next values are gonna be either zero or one, okay? Which stand for R, G, and B, okay? So these act like switches. Zero means it's off, one means it's on. Just like normal RGB, okay? Right now it's zero, one, zero, right? Cause it's green, right? But we want it zero, zero, one for blue, okay? Now add quotations, hit enter. Okay, great, we made our profile, right? So now let's apply that to the various properties in a stream, okay? To figure out what those properties are, let's do Merv Streams Edit Entity, okay? And a bunch of these commands are gonna show up, all right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna type in Merv Streams Edit Entity, and then let's just come up here and we'll just copy, Control C, paste, and then type blue, which is the profile that we established, right? Hit enter, and voila, look, it's already starting to come together. We're already starting to see that green screen turn into a blue screen. Okay, let's hit on the up arrow key, just scroll over here, delete world textures action. Now let's come up here and let's copy skybox textures action, control C, come down here, control V, Hit enter. Our skybox now turned blue. Okay, we have one last thing, and that's static prop textures action. Control C, hit the up arrow key, delete skybox textures action, control V, and we are almost there. So we're gonna come over here and we're going to highlight cable action. Come down here, hit up arrow key, delete this, control V. Okay, now as you can see, we've got one more thing to take care of and that's this pesky crane in the background. It's still green, okay? So what we do is we come to the console, press up, and we come up here to other models action, okay? And we come over here, take this out, control V it, press enter, and there you go. Okay, so say we don't want this blue screen, right? Say we want a red screen instead, you know? But if we have too many blues, they're starting to become transparent when we key them out. Well, we change this, the blue setting, to zero, the red setting to one, remember, RGB. Come over here and we'll just call this a different profile name, call this red instead. And then when you apply the setting to all of those properties, you get this, a very, very red screen. <laughs> that is, uh, that's almost blinding. But yeah, there's a lot you can do with this. Uh, you can customize this green screen to however you want. As you can see, I changed my green screen to purple, and that's just red and blue being on while green's being off. Or you could turn green and blue on and get this, a teal color. So it's very fun, very cool. You don't always have to use green screen, and 
Hollywood doesn't always use green screen. A lot of the time they use blue. And that's mostly because of the hues of human skin. They don't use red a lot because human skin tends to be flush a lot of the time, has a, a reddish undertone because of our blood vessels. So they tend not to use that because it'll affect humans. All right, I really hope this helped. Please, if you like this channel, subscribe, comment, like, and I can't wait to see you in the next tutorial.